Today, the European Parliament has voted on the technical part of the fourth railway package. This package opens the liberalisation of the rail for EU member states. How this reform will benefit the consumers? According to Karima Deli, Green member of the European Parliament, the agreement on the technical part is a good step forward for the European Parliament. C'est bien, notamment pour la mise en place d'un réseau européen du ferroviaire, puisque ça a des impacts. Hein, le fait de renforcer notamment plus le rail que le routier et euh, l'aérien, bah, c'est des impacts climatiques. Hein, on est dans des enjeux euh, de la COP21. Et aussi, ça permet justement bah, de garantir plus euh, de sécurité, notamment pour euh, les usagers, et ensuite un impact directement bah, sur les prix des billets. This technical part of the railway package will open the domestic passenger rail services to more competition. As of 2019, it will be possible to have low-cost trains in Europe. According to Jakub Adamovic, spokesman for regional policy and transport at the European Commission, European consumers would benefit from this reform. The consumer is of course at the heart of this reform. Why? Because the trains should go there where the people want to travel, not where the company feels like it should run the trains. So we are opening up the market opportunities and it can be compared a bit to aviation. When we remember 30 years ago, flying in Europe was very expensive and you did not have a lot of routes. Most flight routes were centered around uh, big cities. Today, this is very different. We want to achieve the same with rail. Thus, for the European Commission, businesses in this sector should become more competitive to face competition brought by new entrants. But for Jakub Adamovic, this reform will have to ensure good quality public transport for consumers. Historically, in railways, uh, there have been uh, state monopolies. And uh, these state monopolies, they include both um, uh, the, the assurance of having very high safety standards, but also employing people as uh, public servants, uh, for example, in railway companies. Now, if we move to a model where there are private uh, enterprises providing railway services, it is very important to make sure that they apply the same highest standards of security. Karim Adeli is concerned about possible consequences of the political part of the railway package, which has been reached by negotiators on the 19th of April. Chaque État va, faire, va respecter sa propre, sa propre norme nationale et donc va défendre ses monopoles. Comme nous en France, ce sera notamment la SNCF, bah, au détriment de quoi bah, Des petits donc c'est toujours les gros qu'on favorise par rapport aux petits opérateurs, première chose. La deuxième chose qui est importante, c'est une véritable casse du service public, puisque dans le volet politique, on pourra faire des marchés publics sans aucun critère. Troisième grand problème, c'est que chaque nouvel opérateur qui, a pas, qui arrive sur le marché n'est pas dans l'obligation de reprendre euh, le, le, le personnel en cours. Ce qui fait que malheureusement, ça va créer quoi bah, Ça va créer des licenciements. By the end of 2016, the whole package of new rules will be formally adopted both by the European Parliament and Member States. It should come into force in EU Member States in 2019.